beautiful people welcome and welcome back to my channel and today i have a very interesting video that i'm going to share with you i hope you stay tuned and you watch this video until the end in case you're new here my name is Ruth Wambogo and i welcome you to the best family on youtube please subscribe if you haven't already and thank you so much for the support that you've been giving me i'm sharing a home decor video today i'm sharing some of the pieces that i've been able to purchase from all those places that i'm going to be showing you and these are pieces that bring joy in my space so if you like them and you'd like also to splurge on some of them and maybe get some pieces that bring you joy in your place then definitely this is the video for you so without further ado let's jump right into the video and see what we are all about <music> tell you that these people didn't come here to play i mean it just look at the several gorgeous things that are being stocked in these shops and this shop is not anywhere that you can't get to this shop is in the heart of isili if you have been to isili market these people are stocking the best goodies and the best part is that they are also selling them at very reasonable prices they have the bedside lamps which are going for 3000 going up they have a variety of candle holders they have a lot of goodies they have those wall hangings they have wallpapers they have those vases that can stand on the ground and you can just decorate your space with them they have a lot of these goodies and if you are like me you are definitely going to be rolling your eyes all over and wondering which do i pick which do i leave and look at these glass trays here that you can put on your vanity space This is one of my favorite shops. I'm going to leave all the details for you guys. So if you want to go get some of these things, then you can go check them out for yourself. They also have kitchenwares, as you can see. They have a variety of candle holders. They have wine glasses, they have table mats, they have the table napkins, they got you covered. They also stock the wallpapers if you like.
and more than that outside you are going to find other home decor items for now let me just leave you with this montage you watch and then i'll catch you later in a moment as i show you some of the pieces that i've been able to get over time yeah so that you get the idea or the gist of what it is i'm talking about I want to share some of the pieces that I have been able to purchase for myself and these are pieces that I put in my space and they bring joy to me some of the pieces these glass jars I was able to purchase these glass jars in pairs and I bought them from um, ordinance and they were going for around uh, 300 Kenya shillings I think so I purchased some which I keep in my kitchen and I put water which I take in the morning with lemon, strawberries and stuff like that. So they have a top here but for when I'm putting these then I'm just able to put them in here and yeah they complete my package. So these flowers also I was able to purchase them from uh, one of the shops and these flower a bunch goes for around uh, 500 Kenya shillings. They come in different colors. So if you are looking to find uh, these flowers then you get them at a very affordable price and keep adding as much as you like but I like mine looking like this and uh, it's pretty affordable. So for this package it costs me less than a thousand so yeah and I can just keep it here on my vanity mirror yeah and it is just perfect like that. The next thing that I have also been able to purchase and these are from uh, this is, is from my shop. I'm going to put it in the description bar below because I don't remember what the shop name is and these are the pieces. This is a vase. It's hollow in the inside and then uh, the base is closed. So this is also a vase you can use in your house and put maybe a bunch of flowers or organize whatever it is that you like in this vase i think it costed me around 1500 kenya shillings yeah so it is okay it's white and it's really good also another thing that i've also been able to purchase is these this is a fake plant i think this costed me around 1500 kenya shillings I bought it from the same shop sometimes back I think you have seen it in my background and uh, it comes like a branch like this so you can just find somewhere to keep it I'm still shopping for somewhere to keep it somewhere that uh, make me happy but at the moment I just place it on this vase just like this the oasis you put it here and then you're able to plant in your plant inside so yeah and uh, yeah it looks like this but i can go ahead and find that traditional bag the kiondo then i'm going to plant it there and also add you know those decorative stones and then it is a lovely plant and it brings joy into my space what do you think and this is really affordable because the whole of this like this vase, I think it was around 1500 Kenya shillings and then this plant 1500 Kenya shillings so the whole of this just costed me 3000 initially we had it was planted in a very good jar and then with the stones it was going for around 300 3000 3000 sorry 3500 Kenya shillings as you can see it's a big plant so I think it's value for money and it could add a bit of, uh, you know, some contrast good in your space and yeah, it's really cute. I think it's cute and 
I love it for only 3,000 Kenyan shillings. The next items that I'm going to show you is just this. This one I got it as a gift <laughs> from someone a long time ago. I never let it go but and I just like to put it just up here where I have my stack of books. Like currently these are the books that I have been reading. So it's just here and then you see it just adds a bit of oomph or uh, some style on my stack of books. Then this one, this one I got it from my friend. <laughs> if you're watching this video, you already know where I got this one. It just brings joy to my space. So yeah, I think these ones were bought in the Roslyn, Roslyn market. I don't know how much it was costing, but maybe if I get all the information, then I'm able to find it and share it with you. So the next thing that I found is this, what is it? A crucible, I think. I don't know what it's called but it looks really cute I had some pebbles uh, that I used to put inside but currently I don't have anything so I just put it here and sometimes I can just light a candle and put it inside I think this is uh, something I would also use to put my makeup brushes this one costed me around 1200 Kenya shillings so it's pretty affordable and you can put it you can put it in your vanity space and put your makeup brushes or uh, light a candle inside it I don't know you, you can just get the gist of the space or the gist of the tool and use it how you like so yeah these ones I just put them here and I think they bring joy to my space so this one is a uh, bedside lamp or, and uh, it is going for around 3000 Kenya shillings so you can go get a variety of these things and they are in plenty down here it's an LED lamp so when you light it then it lights also here you can either put a bulb or just light it in its natural way like it is let me try to light it up for you as you can see it has it's an LED light so it lights from down here even without the bulb but if you want more lighting then you can go ahead and just put a bulb of your choice and then you can light it up there so you see it just brings joy in my space so yeah it's on it's off it is pretty either way okay before i leave my stack of books i wanted to share with you this book i received this book from um, joshua museve he is the writer of this book the enemy within it is a very interesting book so if you love to read something about uh, some of these lessons that are stated here your life your destiny your family can nurture or break you from becoming knowledge propels you to become so if you'd like to get uh, this copy i'm going to leave the email address down below this book is only retailing for around ten dollars thereabout so you can get it it's a very interesting book if you'd love to read any of these lessons this is my copy my signed copy and yeah i think this is also another great book and it's written by a kenyan so if you'd love to check it out hit them up i'm going to leave his email address down below so that you can check him out and maybe you can order the book also if you like another piece that i found and this is a vase let's call it a vase it comes like this it's made of wood i think and then it's decorated this way this one costed me around three thousand kenya shillings three thousand three thousand five hundred but i bought them a couple of days back in um, a shop called gifted hands yes in town i'm going to leave all the information on the description bar and then this also the fake plant which i get to put it here against my window because i just like how it looks and i think it looks amazing so yeah this is also something else i have bought and i just like it when it's standing here against my window yeah it looks amazing 
so these these leaf costed me 300 kenya shillings yeah i think it's pretty looks pretty cool even when it's just here by itself so far so this is my other fake plant <laughs> i just love it here you see when it's just standing here and then it's relatively short so maybe this one i would put it somewhere like on the tv space or something of the sort because then this one is a little bit low but i would buy a bigger plant when i find one the next verse is this verse look at it oh the person who made this definitely took their time to make something next to perfection look at it it looks pretty nice look at this design and then it's made of wood and then the good thing is that i have put some oasis down there and i have planted all these leaves look at these these are just some dried like this one this one are dried millet pieces i think and these ones I also millet that are growing i don't know what these are this is some creativity with some i think some sugarcane also and then yeah so i have combined everything and it looks like it's just a huge flower growing from this it goes all the way up plastic is 80 shillings i think yeah Plastic is 80 shillings. These ones I bought them at a shop that my friend showed me somewhere in River Road But I think they have moved the shop. I'm just going to leave their contacts So if you want to get any of these then you can Definitely check them out and get Something for yourself. Yeah, what do you think? I think these ones look really nice They have taken time to decorate the plants look at these things they have added oh they look amazing and then these sticks focus these sticks are just awesome and look at these other things that are blooming from it I think it's just perfect. Again, this piece costed me 3,000 Kenya shillings. And then any of these things, you can actually just organize them how they look. Like these ones are from the same family, I think. <laughs> then we have these ones. And we have these ones. You buy them in pieces of three. And then you can organize how you want to organize them in your place. okay this is also another vase it looks similar with the ones uh with the one i have just shown you it has the same kind of design but this one then i have planted different things i have just put these look at them they are different and it's just a combination of many these ones i also bought them from the gifted hands shop i think they are still available there you to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed i also want to say a big shout out and a thank you for all the of you who have been commenting who have been liking my videos who have been watching who have been joining me in the live chat over the last couple of days and i really appreciate that our channel is growing and uh, we continue to get to know more and learn more as we go yeah
thank you so much for watching and if you loved this video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe for those who haven't subscribed yet and i will see you on my next video bye bye guys